So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a new feature rolling out, which allows you to be able to annotate your PowerPoints within a Microsoft Teams meeting. And I think we can all agree the ability to annotate can help really engage your audience and point out content that you're explaining within your presentation. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so we're now here in a Teams meeting with Megan. Let's have a look at how we can annotate on a PowerPoint. So for this, all you need to do is go to the top right to share content. And then from there, scroll down to PowerPoint Live. And you can select a PowerPoint that you used before, or you can browse your OneDrive or your computer. I'm just going to select a PowerPoint that I've used before here. And if you're not familiar with PowerPoint Live, at this point, we're presenting to all of our attendees. But what we can do is really present an interactive meeting because we can have access to all of our PowerPoint, our notes, and see what slides are coming up. But you can also access all of the Teams features like chat, live reactions, and so on and so forth. But today we're looking at annotating a PowerPoint. And what you can see here is our annotation tools. So if I was to go to another slide here, and let's just say that we want to use some of these. So I could either use our laser pointer if I want to just point to something specific on the screen, or we could use our red pen. Maybe I want to highlight one of these items just to say how important it is that you help foster active channels. Or I could use the highlighter itself. Maybe I want to do a little highlight over add apps to channels. So now everyone in this meeting is going to be able to see my annotations. Of course, if I'm not happy with any of those, I can select the eraser and remove that information from the screen. So at this point, let's just quickly look in at Megan to make sure that this is going exactly how we expected. So we're now looking at this meeting as Megan, and we can see here that my wonderfully drawn square is on the screen. But we can also see that Megan doesn't have the ability to annotate as well. So only the person presenting the content can annotate within the screen. So now I'm back as the presenter, I want to mention a couple of things. Firstly, the annotations do last for the length of the meeting. So if you were to stop the presentation, for example, and then you're like, oh, actually, I need to present something else, and you went back to that PowerPoint, it's going to store all the annotations. So if we go back to slide four again, what we can see here again is that lovely square that I drawn. However, it is worth noting that these annotations don't actually save to the file. So once this meeting's over, nobody's going to see these annotations again. And the second thing to note is that annotations don't work today on mobile devices. So they work on Mac, web, and then they work on the Windows app as well, but they don't work on your mobile phone. The last thing I want to mention is that this feature is currently rolling out. So if you don't see it within your Teams client, don't panic. We're rolling out as we speak. So just be patient and hopefully you'll see it soon. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time for another video.